Well, here in Georgia, pests are threatening the hemlock trees, and if left untreated, they could wipe out all of Georgia's hemlock population. The monitor's Mark Wildman recently traveled to Georgia's State Arboretum to find out how the Georgia Forestry Commission is working hard to protect this very important tree species. If you live in North Georgia and have a hemlock tree on your land, your hope is it looks a lot like this. But if pests hit, it could end up looking like this. That is why Georgia Forestry Commission Forest Health Specialist Lynn Womack is busy traveling through areas where hemlock trees grow to inspect trees for a specific pest that can wipe out all of Georgia's hemlock trees if it is left untreated. Starting in the 1950s, they found um, hemlock woolly adelgia, which is an invasive insect species. They found it in Richmond, Virginia, um, probably brought in on an ornamental tree there in somebody's yard or in an arboretum. And it has since spread um, through the entire range of, of hemlock. We first found it here in Georgia in 2003. And since that time, it has spread entirely through the native hemlock range here in Georgia. Landowners, if they know where and what to look for, can easily spot this pest. These are the hemlock woolly adelgid on the base of the needles of the hemlock tree. If you flip the branch under, over, you'll look on the underneath side and see them. They, right now, this time of year, they have their, their waxy wool on them. Uh, they are, the next generation through the summer won't have the wool on them, so they'll be much harder to see. You'll need a hand lens. And then starting in the fall with the next generation, those will put on their wool and you'll be able to see them better through the winter months. Georgia's State Arboretum is in Brazelton at Thompson Mills Forest. And Assistant Forest Resource Manager Bill Lott walks this forest every day to make sure the hemlocks and all other trees are healthy. We have 90% of all the native trees in Georgia on one, this spot here. It's really a unique place. We like to say it's the best kept secret in Georgia. The hemlocks is a real important tree and uh, the Georgia Forestry Commission came in and doctored them for us and uh, really helped us out because it is an important tree in Georgia. If anyone finds the pest on their trees, there is hope. It's very easy for them to purchase the insecticide and do it themselves. Uh, Forestry Commission ha does in the mountain areas have um, soil injectors that can be borrowed and on loan from those county offices. And the uh, insecticide is easily purchased at any of their farm stores. And it's a, something that's really easy to do. As our hemlocks start to decline, we're probably going to see a lot of different things happen. Some people are worried that the temperature in trout streams is going to be is going to rise because of the loss of the shade that the hemlocks provide. They also provide a lot of nutrients. But as the hemlocks die, we could also have too much woody debris in those streams, which could cause a loss in some of the amphibian species that are there. Along with insecticides, experts are releasing beetles that will attack the pest. And the hope is, along with chemical and natural treatments, Georgia's hemlocks will be saved. In Brazelton, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.